Today in this 2010 Ford Edge, we'll be having a look at our best trailer wiring options. We have three wiring options here today. This one is the Taconcha T1, part number 118551. This one is the Hopkins plug-in simple wiring harness, part number HM1114049. This one here is the Kurt T-Connect wiring harness, part number C56329. The first biggest difference that we found between our three wiring harnesses here today is in regards to power output. Our Taconcha wiring harness here has a total of seven and a half amps of power output for our tail light and running light circuit and 4.2 amps worth of power output on each one of our turn signal and brake light circuits. Now, this is important because when having this much power, we're able to tow a trailer with a few incandescent light bulbs and basically as many LED lights as we want because they do draw less power. On our Hopkins wiring harness, we don't have any specifications given to us to show what the power output is. What this means is we're not gonna know what our limitations are as far as how many lights we can safely run. Now on our Kurt wiring harness, we have a total power output of six amps for our tail light and running light circuit and three amps for our turn signal and brake light circuits per side. So this is slightly less than what the Taconcha is. We'll probably wanna limit ourselves to about two turn signal or brake light bulbs on our trailer per side if we're running incandescent lights. With LEDs, we'll probably be okay to run about as many as we want because they do draw less power. The next biggest difference that we found is regards to construction quality. Both our Taconcha and our current wiring harnesses on our converter boxes, where the wires go inside, they are sealed up nicely with this silicone style sealant here to provide superior protection from the elements and prevent corrosion inside, which could cause a short or damage our wiring. Whereas on our Hopkins, on our module, it's a two-piece box that's sandwiched down over our wires, and we don't have that silicone sealant going around where the wires go inside. So there is the potential over time that water could get inside and cause damage to it. Even though all of our modules are stored inside the vehicle, it's just something to point out. The next biggest difference that we found between our wiring harnesses is when it comes down to our included items. On our Kurt wiring harness, we do have a tube of black silicone sealant that is included, which is necessary because we have to cut a grommet to pass our wires through to plug into our tail light connectors. You'll need something to seal it up. And the Kurt is the only one that comes with sealant. On the Taconcha and the Hopkins, you will have to provide your own silicone sealant. We do, however, have that available on our website if you need some. On the edge that we have in here today, we have the Taconcha wiring harness currently installed. All three of our wiring harnesses are designed to be stored inside the vehicle when they're not in use. So when you need to use it, you just drape it down the side of your bumper and close the hatch over it, making sure you don't pinch your wires. And when you want to store it, just lift up your cargo cover and you can place it underneath. And it's out of the way, you don't have to worry about snagging it on anything when you are loading cargo in and out of your vehicle. As far as similarities go, all three of our wiring harnesses here today are gonna to give us the necessary lighting functions that are required by law in order for us to safely and legally tow a trailer. We'll have our turn signals, our brake lights, and our tail light and running lights. All three of these wiring harnesses are direct plug and play to your vehicle's tail light connectors, so you don't have to worry about making any cuts or splices in your vehicle's wiring. All three of the module boxes will protect your vehicle's expensive lighting circuits from any malfunctions in your trailer, so if you have a short, you don't have to worry about any of the components in your vehicle getting damaged. Now for a brief summary. As far as power output goes, we found the Taconcha wiring harness to be the winner here because it does have the higher amperage ratings for all of our functions. As far as construction quality goes, we found the Taconcha and the Kurt to be the winners here because they are made just a little bit better than the Hopkins. As far as included items necessary to complete a proper install, we found that the Kurt wiring harness here is the winner because it does come with the necessary silicone sealant that you need to seal up the grommets in your vehicle. And that completes our look at the best trailer wiring options for the Ford Edge. We hope you find this video helpful and informative for your wire. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.
and leave us a comment if you have any questions.